Hey guys, a couple Jordan cards that have sold in the last 48 hours that we've just got to talk about. Uh, some sold below what we expected. Some sold, um, you know, uh, continued the trend of PSA 10s kind of moving up and to the right, which we've been watching lately on a pretty extreme scale. And then the last card that we're going to talk about in this video, um, it might be one of the most astonishing Michael Jordan PSA 10 uh, hierarchy sales I've ever seen in my entire life. I, I, I still can't even believe it's real. If anybody knows anything about this sale, please let me know. If you're the buyer, for God's sakes, please let me know. If you're the seller, please let me know if it got paid. The world wants to know what the hell just happened last night on Heritage Auctions. So we're going to talk about one, two, three, four Jordan cards today with uh, the last card being really the topic of conversation today. If you guys are looking to buy sports cards, basketball cards, football cards, baseball cards, comic books, memorabilia, do what I do. Use the Fanatics Marketplace. Just make sure you use the affiliate link that's located in this YouTube description at the very top or the QR code that's attached. All right, guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. We're not going to take too long on this video because I'm doing a live stream tonight as well with Coach Pixley at 6 p.m. We're going to talk about who we would choose to start our NBA franchise with today and which active NBA player uh, we would choose to wrestle a grizzly bear to the death and kill the grizzly bear with their bare hands. Yes, that is actually the topic of conversation tonight on the live stream because there's much debate about that. So uh, what I've got over here is a screen share on card ladder. I went into sales history. I typed in <coughs> Michael Jordan PSA 10 and then I put in sold since August 23rd. That's Friday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're, it's 6 a.m. Sunday morning. So it's not like anything sold today. So we're looking at Michael Jordan PSA 10s that have sold in the last 48 hours sorted by price and we're not going to talk too much about the exquisites and the all that stuff because that's not really what we're here to talk about i'm going to scroll down the first sort of uh card that truly matters was the competitive advantage psa 10 pop 47 it was sold by uh a uh, frequent recurring uh, a guest on the Cajun Cardboard channel and one of the best Jordan collectors out there, specifically when it comes to PSA 10s, the great Jojo Contino, who is VTV Sports Cards. If you're not following him on Instagram, you're missing out on some real Michael Jordan PSA 10 eye candy. Uh, this card, the competitive advantage, it's not in card ladder yet. For whatever reason, it must have sold last night. Let's see. Yes, it sold. Well, it sold on the 23rd. Not sure why it's not up in card ladder yet and we'll confirm with jojo that the card got paid but this competitive advantage you're looking at the chart over the last full year again it's a pop 49 card here there's been seven sales over the last year so about every other month maybe a little more than that it's run from 2700 and then it sort of steadied around 33 34 3500 got all the way up to 3600 is the highest sale over the last seven sales and then last night, uh, JoJo took a best offer of $4,000, and so a $400 jump. It was up 33% over the last one year. That will put it well over 40% over the last full year, so that's the card right there that you're looking at. I can never remember, you know, when in grade school and middle school, we learned about the Roman columns, and we remembered uh, Ionic, Doric, and Corinthian. I knew that Corinthian was the one that was very ornate with the Lees, and it was like real detailed and intricate. These these are not Corinthian columns. Are they Doric or Ionic? I cannot remember the distinction between those two columns. Yes, I'm 50 years old. Yes, I remember uh, 40 years ago in middle school learning about the Roman columns. Somebody with some an architectural degree or some knowledge of the Roman Empire, please let us know if these columns that are uh, flanking Jordan are Ionic or Doric. All right, the next card, we're going to keep kind of scrolling down. We see an 88 Fleer sale in there. But the next card that really caught my eye was this Bowman's Best Mirror, a Atomic refractor. So everybody's like 
Cajun, we hate you. Why don't you do a video on atomic refractors? People are going to go buy atomic refractors. Well, A, that's not the intention of any of my videos to spike a like frenzy to go buy a card that I do a video about. I'm doing a video today. I'm not telling people to go out and buy the cards that I'm featuring in the video today. The atomic refractor video was for my own intents and purposes because I wanted to get my, I wanted to wrap my arms around how many atomic refractors out there. After doing the video, we know there's 12. We know the pack odds are tough. We know they're beautiful. We know the PSA 10s are very low pop. But guess what? Somebody ignored the video. Everybody ignored the video. They didn't care about this 97 Bowman's Best. It's Jordan, it's Mercer, it's Marbury, and it's Gary Payton. So two Hall of Famers, including MJ. Uh, the last sale of this card was $1,250, but check it out. Last night, Last night, somebody picked one up for $975. I'm telling you, there are Atomic Refractor PSA 10s that you can pick up for uh, less than <coughs> less than $1,000. And this is a great example. So despite the fact that this card sort of been running, right, um, $900. Look, let's look at the prices. This is sorting back in. Uh, this is price order. Sorry, let's get this to date sold. There you go. So $990, $1250, and then $975 last night. Somebody picked it up for under $1,000. I think that's a tremendous pickup. I think it's a great pickup. Uh, this is one of the easier atomic refractors to pick up uh, because there are 55 of them. That, that's just really still not a lot. Like if you're trying to snatch all of the Jordan atomic refractors, all 12 of them, this is one of the cheaper ones to get in PSA 10, and it's got a great gem rate, especially in PSA. BGS 9.5 and, and Beckett 10. I mean, this card grades really well. Maybe that's why it's still a three-figure card, but hell, Jordan, Atomic, PSA 10, Jim Mint, under $1,000. Yeah, give it to me all day long with those pack odds. I mean, geez, that's a crazy pickup. Very good pickup right there for that buyer to still snag that card under three figures. Will the next one go above or below $1,000? Let me know what you think in the comments. I think it's going above. I just think there's no way that that card should be less than $1,000. I mean, there's freaking base cards out there. I can't even go down the list of all the cards out there that are less than $1,000 in PSA 10, uh, more than $1,000 in PSA 10 that are significantly inferior to a Michael Jordan Atomic Refractor PSA 10. All right, next we got a, uh, I think we're going to talk about this intense card. So this card last night sold for, sorry, yeah, August 24th, sold for $786. If you're, if you're like afraid of this PSA 10 uh, frenzy that's been going on and you've been watching these prices, you've been watching the Cage of Cardboard channel and you've been hearing me talk about PSA 10s, I don't know, man, I don't know if it's still a great buy and that's really, really saying something coming from me. Um, if you're not sure PSA 10s are the direction that you want to go, well, there is some hope out there. You can still catch cards that are PSA 10s, that are Jordan inserts, that are hierarchy cards that are not running. And this is an intense, this is a great example. This is a card that's flat as a fritter. Minus 0.76% minus over the last one year. It sold 72 times is extremely flat no evidence of upward or downward movement over the last two years it's actually down three percent guys and again it's under four figures it's a psa 10 and it is an absolutely gorgeous card i was lucky enough to just grab one of these back from psa that graded a psa 10 but here's the reason right the difference between this card and the psa 10s that we've seen running specifically the card we're about to look at which blew my mind uh, is that there's 574 of these. So it's almost got the pop of a pretty, you know, like a mid-level sort of high-end base card, and that's why it's still selling for three figures. It's got a 30% gem rate, which is very high for Jordan inserts and parallels from the 90s. As you guys know, if you watch the channel, any double-digit gem rate, you know, is a relatively high gem rate because so many Jordan 90s inserts and parallels are single-digit gem rates. And again, somebody the other day said, what does gem rate mean? What is gem percentage? And I'm like, it's, well, it's quite simple. You take all the cards that have been graded, you uh, then, you know, take all all of the ones that have graded a PSA 10 or BGS 9.5 and their respective grading companies, and then you do division, and then whatever percentage comes out, you know, pops out, that's your gym rate percentage. It's what percentage 
of 100 percent is per 100 out of 100 cards how many of them would grade a gym well 29.7 uh, would grade Jim for intense for this particular parallel. But you can see it's not the rarest card in the world. There's 3,344 3, out there. Uh, total gems, there's over 1,100 if you include BGS. Okay, so that's what kept, that's what's keeping this card sort of suppressed while we're seeing other cards run. That being said, it's like, I don't think you ignore this card. I think maybe now is the time to buy this type of card. I'm just, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not going out there and stacking a bunch of intenses because it is a relatively high pop card. But it's like, if you see the other cards that are up 250%, well, those are not the cards to go buy. The next card we're about to look at. I don't think I'd be chasing this number. Let's move on to the next one. And this is really, you know, it's the final chapter of today's video. It's going to be a short one. This is insanity, and it's not in a card ladder yet, but this is the 1998 Topps Chrome Preview Refractor. And I'm sorry I don't have a better image for you, uh, but this card sold last night. <clears throat> Are you sitting down for this? $168,000. It is a Pop 2. I get it. That's very rare. It is a great card. This one has incredible centering and clarity of color, which is the most important thing when we're talking about refractors. We talk about that all the time. Clarity of color is the most important thing when we're talking about refractors. But $168,000. Let's do this. Let's just type in PSA 1998. Uh, tops chrome preview I want to put refractor in there because guess what there's a base version as well will that run I have no idea I own a base PSA 10 but I do not own a refractor in any grade so I am not here hyping this card I'm not disparaging this card I'm just calling it like I see it the highest price ever paid in history for one of these Topps Chrome Preview Refractors in any grade ever was $12,000, and that was in insanity, crazy, alleged peak 2021 year, right? Uh, the PSA 9 sold for $12,100. I'm pretty sure if I click this, the PSA 10 is a pop two. Yes, it's a pop two. So card ladder says a PSA 9 is worth about seven grand recently. Okay, so we, let's sort this by date sold. Let's type in here. Let's put uh, let's put PSA 9. So PSA. Let's do this. Let's take this out. Let's do some finagling. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's get out of here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's open it. Let's put parentheses. Let's go PSA 9. Okay, there's your PSA 9. Date sold. This one's OC. Let's put minus OC in here. All right, let's get rid of the OCs. All right, <clears throat> there it is. $7,500 this card in PSA 9 sold for on Fanatics Weekly on September 25th, 2022. Last night, the PSA 10 sold for $168,000. Has the PSA 10 ever sold? Well, yes, it has. And guess what? It sold for $2,000 eight years ago. It sold for $1,300 nine years ago. Last night, it sold for $168,000. Okay, did it get paid? I don't know. Uh, is that a logical, organic jump from $2,000 to $168,000 for, again, I'm not here to disparage the card. I just want to, this is not a top, what's well, certainly not a top 35, 40, it's probably not a top 50 demand Michael Jordan card, right? I'm thinking back to the hierarchy and where it is and where it belongs and what it's about and what it means. It's not a top it's certainly not a top 50 Michael Jordan card, in in my opinion, in uh, amongst the 1990s, just amongst the 1990s inserts of parallels. Forget about exquisite collection and, you know, all of the star cards that are out there other than the 101 and all that stuff. I'm just talking about, like, hierarchy cards, cards that actually fit the criteria to, to belong in the hierarchy. And this one does. Uh, it doesn't really strike me as a top 50 card. And it sold last night for $168,000. The PSA 9, as we saw, just recently sold for $7,000, relatively recently sold for $7,000. And the last PSA 10, which was probably the same card. Hell, I guess we got to look at it. Let's see. This is serial number 775, and last night's sale was a different serial number. So different card, but a PSA 10 nonetheless, and there's only two of them out there, $168,000, guys. I, I don't know what's going on i'm just putting this out there letting the world know that it happened a lot of people know about it it's been posted on instagram we saw the legacy collection sell for in the mid 100,000s the other night and we thought that was crazy well the legacy collection card is a significantly ugh, i don't 
again, I'm, I'm not trying to disparage this particular card. I just want to ask some questions. I want to make sure we're asking the right questions about whether or not this was legit. Heritage Auctions is also odd. Like, it just seems like, I'm not, and again, obviously, they got the result they were looking for, but who would sell this card on Heritage Auctions when Fanatics Weekly is an option, Golden Premier is an auction, Fanatics Premier is an auction? Um, I don't know. It's an interesting sale on an interesting platform of a really important card. Uh, I just wouldn't have pegged this as a $168,000 card. In other words, uh, again, this was sent to me by a very, very big Jordan collector that's out there. His high bid was $9,900 with the buyer's premium. So it got to a point where he, and I'm not going to tell you who sent me this image. Hopefully it's not on the screen. It's not. This is not me. I did not bid on this card. I don't even know how to get on to Heritage Auctions. I don't I don't go there. I, my plate is already full. Uh, but he stopped his bidding at $9,900, and it only sold for uh, 17 times that. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this Topps Chrome Preview Refractor. Let me know if you think the Bowman's uh, Mirror Image Atomic under $1,000 is a steal. I thought it was a very good buy. Let me know what you think. Is 500 too high of a pop for a 90s insert jo uh, Jordan uh, insert called the Intense? And then, uh, obviously, we saw the competitive advantage continues the trend of PSA 10 cards running. That is the highest sale in the last year for sure, by some measure, jumping 400 from the last sale, which was the highest sale. So that PSA 10 trend continued with a POP 49 competitive advantage, <clears throat> but a POP 500 plus intense insert with over a thousand gems if you include the bgs 9.5 has remained relatively steady so what does that tell us well it tells us what we already knew pop is everything your psa uh, 10 pop 2 chrome preview just obliterated the all-time record by magnitudes whether it's you know uh, a real sale or not and gets paid i guess we'll have to see i would love it if somebody could chime in and say hey dude i know it got paid here's who bought it he paid if you know the seller if you know the buyer please let the world know because that's sort of what this channel's for it's a conduit of information right i'm here to spread the information good and bad there's four jordan cards we looked at today don't forget to tune in tonight sunday august 20th 25th, 6 p.m., a live stream with me and Coach Pixley. We're not going to talk about basketball cards because he doesn't know a damn thing about them. We're just going to talk about basketball. We're going to talk about the NBA, uh, who we would start our NBA franchise with today. Yeah, you're talking about young players, but we're going to rank them in order. That should be a great conversation piece. And then, of course, the Grizzly Bear episode. We're going to talk about who we would choose in as an active NBA player. So, no, you can't choose Charles Oakley or Maurice Lucas to wrestle your Grizzly Bear. you got to choose an active player in the soft NBA. NBA that we have today. So stay tuned for that live stream tonight on the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel at 6 p.m. Central Time with Coach Pixley. I hope you guys can join us, chime in, and be part of that conversation. Thank you guys as always for watching. Keep collecting. Hope you have a great Sunday with friends and, fa friends and family. Enjoy yourself. Sorry, I had too much of an energy drink this morning. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace.